Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the new version of DaVinci Resolve for iPad. To install DaVinci Resolve for iPad, we need to go to the App Store and search for DaVinci. Content creators can extend their video workflows in the new ways and the new places. Include support for cut and color pages, offering colorization tools and the last HDR workflows. In addition, Blackmagic Cloud supports allows creators to collaborate with multiple users around the world. In Cut page, we can quickly edit any kind of project. You can import media, sliding with a finger or pen. We can scroll on a mini timeline. We can visualize the media in the source monitor make in and out points, drag the clips to the timeline, trim clips and so much more. This version allows you to add titles, effects and transitions. In the top corner we have a new tab called titles. I will drag the text and place it on the top of the clip. We can also drag the clip and position on the timeline by clicking and move it in the desired direction. We can change the text content, the size and other settings. Still on the top menu, we have the option to add transitions. I will use the cross dissolve effect as an example. In my case, I want to use this effect with a cross dissolve at the beginning of the text clip. We can also increase or decrease the duration of this effect. But you can use other effects like zoom in. On the color page, almost all the tools are available just like the original version. It is very intuitive. We can make primary adjustments with color wheels, change the temperature and tint, add effects, to some qualifiers, masks, windows and tracking. The most impressive thing is that we can do our own color management. Even with ACES workflow, we can simply take a quick approach and export a lot. It is time to export. We have a few options. We can export in H.264, H.265 and we have some presets for YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter and Dropbox. By selecting these presets, it is possible to upload our video directly to YouTube, for example. You just need to log in with your account. After that, we export our project. Choose the location and we are done. This iPad version is amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions ask me in the comments.